If you have children today, when, when that little one came into the world, you got a job. As soon as they came into the world, you, you got a new job. And your job was not the job that you went to. It wasn't the same job you went to 40, 45, 50 hours a week. It's a different job now. You've just signed on for about 20 years of, of, of employment with that kid. And this is what a lot of parents don't understand. They don't realize the responsibility that goes along with being a parent. See, getting a child is not dressing up a little baby doll, okay? Getting a child is being able, having the responsibility to teach them so that they move into ultimately adulthood because they're going to be with you 18 to 20 years, and somewhere between 18 and 20 years, they're going to eventually move out. Thanks be to God, they'll finally move out. But when they move out, the, tr- the question is, have you trained them in a way that they can step into the world and they can now be productive citizens of God's kingdom and productive citizens of the society around them? Can they live a life that honors God, that makes a difference and adds value to their world so they fulfill God's destiny for their life? That's your job. You've been given a job assignment. And you can't do that if you're not willing to train them. you got to train. That's your job. You're the trainer. You're the teacher. And you need to make sure that you're exposing them to truth. You can't put it all on the church. You can't certainly put it on the school system. Amen about that, right? You can't say, I'm going to delegate this teaching job out. No. At the end of the day, you are their teacher. Okay. Now, we as a church are going to help you. But I like to remind parents sometimes, you know, we only, we're going to do, we have a great children's department here. I'm so thankful for the people that are involved in children's ministry. How many of you are involved in our children's ministry? Any folks in the room see the hands are going up? Fantastic. Why don't we thank these folks? They do a great job. Awesome. But they will, they'll be the first people to tell you they only have your child for maybe an hour, hour and a half every week. That's all. Okay. If you expect us to do all that work, spiritually to teach them everything they need to know about God and relationship with God. We can't do it. It's just we don't even have enough time to do it. Okay. And so you have that job. We're here to, to help you. That's why you need to have your child in, in, in church because we're here to assist that process. Same true for our youth department. Have an amazing youth department, great youth services, but that only happens a couple of hours a week. Is that valuable? Yes, they need to be there. But this is just supplemental to what you do. So can I ask you, how much spiritual and moral education is your child receiving? How much? From you, okay? 